What is up Jets Nation? And today we're gonna get into our very first verses on Football Fun Friday. This is the Jet Show, and I am your host show, and we're gonna do our comparison. Today we have wide receiver Alec Pierce at the University of Cincinnati versus Christian Watson from North Dakota State. Let's get into it, man. We're only a couple days away from the NFL draft. And one or two of these guys will go in the later part of the first round or maybe even the early part of the second round. Let's go. It's showtime. All right, guys, let's get into it. We have wide receiver Christian Watson at 6'4". We have wide receiver Alec Pierce at 6'3". They're both similar in height. We're going to do a real good versus today, and I hope you guys like it. If you do, like, comment, subscribe. Give me the whole nine yards. Let's get into it, baby. All right. So these guys had very similar numbers in comparison to each other in stats from their freshman year, which is in 2018, all the way to their senior year, which is 2021. One of my issues that I had was that people were talking about Christian Watson. And they've been talking about him for months now, which is granted. I understand. I get it. My issue was, why is no one talking about Alec Pierce? This guy is a dog. And I absolutely love watching him play. Do I love watching Christian Watson play? I've seen his games. I've seen his highlights as well. Yes, I do. My issue is, People were and are talking about Christian Watson in the late first round or the early second. I've seen them have Alec Pierce down in the third round. Some had him in the fourth. Very few had him in a spot like Christian Watson. Uh, that's what this video is all about. I don't understand how most of these people grade. And sometimes, being honest, it just doesn't make sense. So today... We're going to have fun on Fun Fact Friday. All about football, baby. Let's get into it. Christian Watson is 6'4". Alec Pierce is 6'3". Very similar in height. In 2018, freshman year for both of them, Christian Watson had nine receptions, 165 yards with zero touchdowns. Alec Pierce had goose eggs all the way across the board. Zero receptions, zero yards, zero touchdowns. Let's do the following season. The next season in 2019, Christian Watson had 34 receptions, 732 yards with six touchdowns. 2019 with Alec Pierce, he had 37 receptions, 652 yards with two touchdowns. Let's do the season coming after that, which is 2020. Receptions, Christian Watson had 18, 437 yards, one touchdown. Alec Pierce had 17 receptions, 315 yards with three touchdowns. Now we're going into the thick of it, right? We're going to get into the senior year. This last season, 2021, Christian Watson had 43 receptions, 800 yards, seven touchdowns. Alec Pierce had 51 reception, 884 yards with eight touchdowns. These guys are very similar. They're very similar from the height. They're very similar from the time they started playing college ball. They are very similar in stats. Now, with that being said, how do you mention Christian Watson in the late first round or early second without having Alec Pierce in that same tier. I'm dumbfounded. I'm actually dumbfounded. We're gonna get into a little bit more. This is a versus. Let me know your thoughts after the video. You wanna look at combine numbers. Christian Watson ran a 4.36 in the 40. Alec Pierce in the 40 ran a 4.33. A bit faster than Christian Watson. Who would ever thought? Hmm. It's amazing. Let's get into a little more. Broad jump. 
Christian Watson had an 11-4 in the broad jump. Alec Pierce had a 10-9 in the broad jump. That goes to Christian Watson. Kudos, my man. I like you too. Look at vertical jump. Christian Watson had a 38.5. Alec Pierce had a 4. Sorry, Alec Pierce had a 40.5, which is a tad bit better than what Christian Watson put up. You have to love it. These guys are very, very, very close in almost every category. Moving forward, we're going to the schedule. We're going to look at not all the games, but at least six or seven games or teams that Christian Watson played against. You have James Madison. You have, you have East Tennessee. You have Southern Illinois, Montana State, South Dakota, Youngstown State. Those are like six or seven teams that Christian Watson faced last year, his senior year. Now we're going to do Alec Pierce. Alec Pierce senior year, the teams that he faced had a little bit more pop on their name. A little more stink on it. <laughs> all right. So you have, you have Notre Dame. And we all know who plays for Notre Dame. I think some of us, half of us at least at one point, wanted him, Kyle Hamilton, on the Jets. But anyway, let's get back to it. So, Alec Pierce faced his senior year, 2021, against Notre Dame, which they won. Cincinnati won. They beat Notre Dame or Notre Dame, however you want to pr pronounce it. Fast face, tomato, tomato, glass half empty, half full. You know what I mean? All right, so they face Indiana, the Hoosiers. It's a big university. Not one of the greatest football programs, though. It never has been. The basketball, at one point, top tier, right? But we'll give them a little more credit because it is a bigger university. We go with Temple. We all know who played for Temple. Robbie Anderson. Come on home, Robbie. All right, Temple, I could put them in the same boat, I guess, with Indiana, right? Known university, but not top echelon schools as far as football programs, right? Right. All right. So then you have UCF, Navy, Tulane, and SMU. I would put those guys in the same bracket. The ones I just named. Yeah. Right? Yeah. All right. So now you have the big bonus game. You have Cincinnati versus Alabama. Roll tie, baby. Cincinnati lost that game. And they lost it bad. But you still have to give them credit because when they faced Alabama, they were 13 and 0. Alabama was 12 and 1. And Cincinnati just couldn't handle the pressure that Alabama brought. You know, every time I looked at the game and every time, even when I went back and looked at the highlights, the quarterback was under pressure, getting rushed, getting hit, or getting sacked. However you want to say it. So that was not a good game for Cincinnati at all. All right. So now we're done with the schedule. You guys can take what I just gave you. Eat it up. Num, 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 num. And crap it out and see what you get. <laughs> All right. All right. So now we want to go to drops. Now, this is a very, very interesting subject here. A lot of guys, when they talk about Christian Watson, one of the things that they name mainly, one of his weaknesses, are the drops. He have the poopies. Sometimes when it comes to catching the ball. So if you want to look at numbers. I got a little bit for you. Right here in my notes right here. I will move my camera but I don't like to touch it. It's sensitive. Like my wife. <laughs> Alright guys. So you want to look at drops. In comparison to like some of the top tier wide receivers that are coming out this year. Christian Watson was almost at the bottom. Uh, I guess I'm trying to sugarcoat it. He was at the bottom. Christian Watson had 12.7% of his passes dropped. Some of those, he hit his hand. And he wanted to get the yak without securing the ball first. That happens a lot with young wide receivers, even in college and even in the NFL. That's something that could be worked out. So I'm not throwing him in a doghouse for it. But it is something that you have to look at. I think Terrell Owens at one point had a real drop issue. And we all know what happened with T.O. I mean, the guy was almost like one of the greatest 
wide receiver as far as catching, you know, um, not dropping passes, right? So that's something that could be worked out. So that's 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 a hit, but it's nothing that you can't work on. It's nothing that you just say, oh, okay, all oh, this guy's trash. You're not using him, right? But I like the top tier guys. And if you put him in that category, yes, his drop percentage was 12.7. Uh, George Pickens, to give you some guys to kind of look at, that names that we're familiar with, George Pickens, his drop rate drop rate was 2.1. Outstanding. Um, if you want to look at Drake London, you hear all the time that Drake London has great hands and he, has, he wants the 50-50 balls. You can go up and get it. Well, his drop percentage was higher than George Pickens that surprised me his drop percentage was 5.7 which is not bad it's actually it's absolutely not bad at all uh let's see who else do I have here we have Traylon Burks Traylon Burks drop percentage was 7.4 percent Jameson Wilson Williams was 7.7 Alec Pierce 6.4 so we're gonna go back to who we're talking about you have Christian Watson at a 12.7% drop rate, and you have Alec Pierce at a 6.4% drop rate. Now, if you look at those numbers, and let's say that that's a bug that can't be worked out. Well, Christian Watson, once he, in, once he enters the NFL, he's going to have stiffer competition. It's the NFL. He's literally going to go against the best of the best. Does his drop percentage increase? Does it decrease? Food with thought. Rhetorical question, if you will. Alec Pierce, 6.4 drop percentage. Does his increase or decrease? Rhetorical question. These are for you guys to put down in the comment. Let me know what you think. Right? All right, guys. We're going to get into a little bit more here. I love this. This is my first verses. I'm eating it up. Nom, nom, nom. Oh, no, 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 no. All right, guys. So, um, now one thing I do love about Christian Watson, man, the guy can play at any spot as a wide receiver. He can play inside the numbers, outside the numbers. He can play slot. Like, for a guy his size, that speed, um, his strength, that's amazing. It's rare that you can get a guy his size that can do all three of those things that is just rare like normally you can get a guy six one a star receiver a number one receiver right at six feet six one yeah you know he's a bit shorter he can play that slot position but watson six four and can still play those position that is amazing and another side note for what uh for christian watson is that his team did run the ball a lot that may contribute to his drops you know i think the athletes have to get in the rhythm and once you get that certain rhythm going you know and then your production increases well his team actually was a run heavy scheme and off of play action they will feed the ball to christian watson so you know maybe him being a little stiff a little cold not really being in the action maybe that contribute to his 12.7 percent drop rate or percentage you never know but to get back to it let's talk about injuries here right that's one of the main things especially if you're looking to draft them and you're a jets fan injuries are a main concern for us all right so with christian watson <clears throat> he had real he had no real injuries hamstring injury in 2021 which he missed only three games that is the only injury that i've seen now he plays in the FCS, which is once again not the biggest conference, but with that being said, they really don't report a lot of things with the FCS. So, but from what I've researched and I've found, he really doesn't have any major injuries, which is a positive for whatever teams decide to go with Christian Watson. <clears throat> Now, if you look at Alec Pierce, Alec Pierce in 2020 suffered a knee injury. Now, uh, like knee injuries, is a little scary, right? Like you bring out the bats and the ghosts and all of that madness, right? It's a little scary when a guy has a knee injury in football. Um, it required him to get a um a knee scope, right? And on the fence with that one, right? No other injuries though prior to that one or after that one. After that, he was fine. Um. 
he played the next season 2021 with no issues at all which is always great to see coming off a knee injury or soft tissue injury or anything with the legs man especially for a wide receiver or a cornerback or db you know with them have to backpedal and things of that nature and then just turn and twist on the dime so when those guys have an injury and they come back the following season and you don't see any signs of that prior injury man that is absolutely beautiful uh, side note or parentheses whatever you want to say um bryce hall right he was on the fence by bryce hall like he looked good in college he suffered a major injury and he was one of the only jets that literally played every game for us last season talk about weird right all right so with that being said guys i actually think my personal opinion that alec pierce just because of the conference that he's in Right, then not just only, but that does, in my opinion, put him a little more above Christian Watson. I don't know what you guys feel, but hopefully, just a few of these little stats, a little small video for you guys to just hear some numbers, see these guys, and give us your opinion or give me your opinion. Right, if these guys are coming to your team or you want them, let's say, on the Jets, don't you want to have this information in order to judge them? Right? The guy that you want. I want Christian Watson. I want Christian Watson. Right? But you got a guy like Alec Pierce who's about the same height. Ran a better 40. Um, his vertical was better. Right? His numbers are about the same. But if you want to do comparison, once again, Alec Pierce was in a bigger conference. So if you got the similar numbers, I'm sorry. I'm going with the guy that bigger conference that has almost the exact same numbers. That's just that's just me. I'm not trying to persuade you guys to change you guys perception of christian watson or alec pierce i just i'm a numbers guy and if the numbers add up that is what i'm going with i want the jets to get the best receiver the best player possible not just receivers but if you're asking me which guy would i prefer i'm going with alec pierce all right so this is the show this is the jet show and I want you guys to like, subscribe, yeah, commit, yeah. come back for more. We have another interesting video coming out in like the next day or two. And we're going to have fun, man. We're going to do a lot of giveaways. I know the draft is coming up in the next couple of days. And there are some YouTubers who are going to stream it live. I'll probably be in their stream like the green, like green bean. Excellent, excellent guy. Excellent content creator. You have uh, Ryan at Jets Talk 24. Uh, you have Matt O'Leary and I think and I know for sure that those three guys will be doing a live stream together So I'll probably be in the live stream with, um, with you guys And I'll come in we'll talk about a lot Maybe I'll even do some shirt giveaways We'll talk to Green Bean and, and, and Matt O'Leary and Ryan about those things So anyway as always guys go Jets and let's have a great awesome amazing draft Let's kick some ass this year Let's put some respect on our name and let's get to it. All right, guys, see you in the next video. As always, go Jets.